So there are few things that we know, but actually don't know. And here are three for you. Okay, so you have printed this bolt and now it's super weak for whatever purposes you have printed this thing and it always breaks your expectation. Now the reason behind this thing is always remember the basic principle of mantra whatever you want to call it of 3D printing is your print is always weakest among the layer lines. By the layer lines I mean one layer upon the another upon the another that's how it, your this bolt is made up. So it's the one layer, then the another, then the another, and then it just keep going on and on. So that's why this thing is super weak. So if I break it to you, how you can see how easily it can be break. I mean, it's not super weak, but you can easily break this thing in comparison to the method that I'm going to tell it to you. You can see how easy it is to break. You saw that? Now let me show you to you this one. So what you can do, so now what you can do to make this thing stronger is just the process you can see it on your screen. You can just split this thing, remove a little bit of material from the side, something like this, like you're seeing on your screen, and then just print it out. And that's gonna give you this result. Uh, this type of model, because of this, it is strong. And it is strong, and it is super hard to break, and it still functions as a nut and bolt. Just like I showed you how easy it was to break this one. You can see it in pieces. How hard it is to break this one you can see I'm literally putting too much pressure on this but it's super hard to break god it is super hard to break and it still have not broken now imagine the difference of strength between this one and this broken one so that's how you can make your bolt super strong by following this simple hack or method whatever you want to call it let's move to next one Tip number two is the layer line. Let's say you're printing something smooth or something circular on top. So if you print in a vertical way, the problem is you're gonna see is the layer lines. Like on this object, you can see a pretty big layer line. It is not that smooth that you can rub it on its cheeks. So the simple solution is to put in this horizontal pattern like you're seeing on your screen. And if you print it in a this way, you're gonna get this smooth surface right over that you can rub it on your cheek and it won't gonna give you a scratch. And you're gonna have, a, and you're gonna have smooth cheeks that your girlfriend gonna love. But let's say, suppose there's a problem. You can print that. Let's say you came up with the this weird design and now you can print it like this and and let's say you can use support in this scenario but you don't want to use support let's say suppose you don't want to use support then what you can do in that case so that's a pretty simple solution print it vertically but now the problem is you ain't gonna get that super smooth finish like if you print it horizontally it's gonna give the scratch to your cheeks and your girlfriend won't gonna like it so the solution to this problem is, is to use this feature and it's available in almost every single slice of software out there in the market I'm using Cura for support this example is to use adaptive layer height with this feature is what you're gonna do as it's gonna go up and up the slice are automatically gonna adjust the layer height like you're seeing on your screen and it's really beautiful I would say it is not as good as this horizontal one but it's surely better than the our first result without using adaptive layer height feature so I would highly recommend use this slice a software feature because it's a really a game changer feature to get a smooth curve finishing that your girlfriend gonna love So tip number three, it's a very pretty basic common sense thing, I would say. But still, I'm telling you because I saw a lot of this mistake that most new who are getting into 3D printing plus designing do. So let's say you want to make a handles or anything like this. And then there's like curved surfaces like you're seeing on your screen. So the thing is, let's say, suppose you have designed this thing and you gave it two holes so that you can put it on something like you're seeing on your screen but the problem is with this thing is when you do that you haven't gave a cut suppose you're using a wood nut so you know in wood nut there's a triangular in the bottom so when you print a, just a straight hole the problem is, first of all it ma make your print weak so if you tie it too much obviously it's gonna break so what you can do is simply adding this uh, the same size of cut like you're seeing on your screen in your design and then print it. Now what happened is in the older version you can see it is not that smooth, it is not that aesthetically pleasing. But with the second version now you can see it is super smooth and the screw is fully adjusted into that hole. So you can see it's a very simple basic common sense tip that I want you guys to know. So that's it. So these were the three tips 
for this video and i hope you liked it so make sure you subscribe press the bell icon and like this video if you're a beginner then it's really important for you to subscribe to this channel goodbye